I recently had the opportunity to interview Patrick Liu, the CEO of HSR. Patrick is one of Asia's most sought-after speakers. He has spoken to audiences in over 60 countries. In this part of the interview, Patrick shared about how he became known as a love evangelist and how he applies this philosophy of love to his life and company. Patrick, how did you become a love evangelist? How did this thing and, and start? You know, when did it start? You know, calling me an evangelist of love probably started as a joke by some of my friends and eventually it became part of my branding. It started in year 2003. And if you remember in year 2003, the whole economic cycle was at its worst throw. And uh, SARS was in the air, many people were sick, some have died. Our company went into one of the darkest hours of our history. At a point in time, in sheer desperation, just like most human, I just look up to heaven and say, please, please help me. And at a point in time, I received two interesting messages. The first message was a very simple message. Touch lives, go back to work, treat your colleagues, your customers as human, help them to live the best life. Bring out the best from them, help them to live a meaningful, exciting and fulfilling life. And go out there, touch lives, bless family, enhance community and improve society. The second message was frightening to say the least. I received a message that says when you go back to work tomorrow, tell your people do just three simple words. And the three simple words are, I love you. And I tell you, this is the most scariest things I've ever done. because. Nobody talk about love. Nobody promote love in the workplace. There is no business school, business consultants, uh, business colleges that teach us how to apply love in the workplace. So I have to practically recreate a whole business model based on love. And uh, even until today, when I search the internet, I think we're probably the first company in the world that I know of that built a whole company on love. So we started a totally new trend. We pioneer a new uh, pathway uh, to run a business, so to say. Now we call it a love-based culture, a love-based ma management system, a love-based operation. And as a result of doing that, our company has grown. So today we say we want to start to love, love ourselves, and then love what we call the ongoing C's. First C is love our colleagues, and then second C is love our customers. The third C is uh, loving our communities. And the last C is taking this love to different countries all over the world. And in some way, we've been able to achieve that. And that's why they call me an evangelist of love. So the next question is, how do you apply love for yourself and also for others? That's a very good question. I believe this, that if you cannot love yourself, it will be very hard for you to love other people. And if you cannot practice love for yourself, it is also very hard for other people to love you. So, love has to start with self-love. And at the same time, when you're practicing self-love, you need to practice the art and the skill of loving other people. Let me start with self-love. I'm first of all not talking about conceited, arrogant, uh, prideful love. I'm talking about loving yourself for who you are. First of all, to be able to accept yourself, the good, the bad, and the ugly. Being at peace with yourself. And knowing that you are the only limited addition of one. And if you cannot love yourself, then you have lost it. You cannot do anything well in your life. So what I do is, uh, as a daily routine, I try to affirm love for myself. I try to practice love for myself. Let me give you an example. For example, when I go and bathe, when I, when I take my shower, I will tell myself I love my hair, I love my face, I love my body, you know, I love every part of my being. And I have gone on to do what I call an advanced process of loving myself and to tell myself as I apply moisturizer all over, all over my body, uh, to tell myself I love my heart, I love my liver, I love my stomach, I love all the various organs of my body. I say this with a lot of uh, uh, 
seriousness and as a warning to many people a lot of people I've seen without realizing it without realizing it they curse themselves they say I wish I've got somebody else's eyes I wish my nose is better without realizing they are putting a curse on themselves and I think when we learn how to love ourselves we are in a better position to love other people when I step out of my house when I meet the next person I can then have this feeling of love and being able to convey to the other person and the more I go and convey love to other people the more I want to inspire other people to convey the same love you know that's always been inside us to the people around them and I think if we build a whole community of love we can change the world for good Uh, I'm very proud of the fact that uh, as a company, we probably do more charity work than many chari charity organizations. And I believe that each and every one of us can do our part, must do our part, should do our part, and every part counts. And uh, so we have a few charity initiatives, one of which is called Junior Achievement. We house Junior Achievement in our HSR building. And Junior Achievement is a non-profit organization that goes to schools and teach school children life skills. I'm sure most of us would agree some of the most important skills that we need in our working life, in our, in our adult life, we never learn from the school. And so today, we go to schools and teach these children some of these very important life skills, like entrepreneurship skills, leadership skills, uh, money management skills, uh, social skills, uh, even skills that how to give back to society. And uh, we don't have a full-time staff. We run it like a social enterprise. And every dollar that people donate to the organization goes almost directly to the recipients, the children, the future uh, leaders of our generation. I want to probably close by saying this, and this is a personal philosophy. Uh, this is also a corporate philosophy. The best way to live our life is to live our life for others. The more we reach out to bless other lives, the richer our lives will become.